What's up everybody? It's Ashley with The Real Ash and I'm super excited for a lot of different reasons. One, this is my first video. So I started my Instagram, um, The Real Ash, recently when I started taking my fishing more serious and now I'm on the YouTube train. So I am going to be doing today a walkthrough of this kayak. I am by no means a professional nor do I even know really what I'm talking about. but we're gonna go for it and I'm gonna try and just show you what I know and then you can comment below give me any tips tricks or comments that you have if you share this kayak with me or any other kayak for that matter so without further ado let's get started so this is the catch 110 high drive it's the pedal uh, pedal drive system so this is what the pedals look like and I'll be honest when I bought this I did not even know how this operated I was looking at this kayak thinking there's a hole in it this doesn't seal up I'm not even gonna float that's how much I didn't know but obviously did my research and I love it you put it in the water you stick this right in it clips very easily I can't show you right now because I'm on grass and you just pedal your way around um, you can cover some really good ground with this thing I was in a decent sized lake for its maiden voyage last week and it was very easy to get around and um, go where I needed to go. I'm just going to go front to back um, up here. So this is 10 feet. I wanted the shorter one because I don't need a lot as of right now and it was easier to get in my truck. For now I have my Plano tackle box up front and I did that because if you know how this book bag opens up I can essentially just open it this way put it under the bungee straps here and access all my other tackle boxes. Um, I can't leave it open because it does get in the way of the pedals, but I'll probably change this around a thousand times. Um, all right, so you have a handle on the front that makes it really easy for me to drag. Unloaded at 67 pounds. I don't know the weight of it with everything on it, but um, I usually just drag it around wherever I need to go. Um, it has these awesome tracks. Um, already put on it for you where you can add all your little gizmos. As you can see, mine's pretty naked. I'm hoping that'll change. I would love to get a fish finder, Garmin fish finder, and also a mount for um, my GoPro so that you guys can start seeing all of my fishing action. Um, here, when you're sitting in it, and I actually just learned this, this is one of my, this is really cool. So you have your awesome lawn lawn chair here um it's pretty reclined i'm also sitting on a hill you can go even further back if you just want to catch a few rays um, i like to be more upright but i also mostly like to stand so on its maiden voyage i would just kind of stand like this however i just learned that you can actually and then if you can i don't know if you guys can see there's a little strap that goes from the back to the front that straps the, the seat in. So if you were to flip, you're not gonna lose your chair. But if you unstrap that, you just kind of release it. And you wanna stand up. Oops, there's my flip flop. All you have to do is stand and kick that sucker back and you have all of this room to fish. Um, when I was standing and bass fishing the other day, I was up here, so I'm wondering if that's gonna change my stability, which wasn't bad. Um, it does have really great stability. Um, however, even just standing here now, I just feel better about it. So I'm excited to try that out. All right, moving on back. Attached here, I have this awesome little bungee contraption it just hooks right in there to that little anchor hook so you have your paddle on the side um, I just got this one and I'm really excited to use it the Magellan outdoor firefly you can actually adjust it from 75 to 77 inches and this is an aluminum shaft I don't know if that matters to some of you but um, my favorite feature these glow in the dark so bonus this guy comes with three rod holders. You see I've got my two rods in them now and my net and my amazing rod gloves 
that I love so much. So shout out to Rod Love. Love you guys. Um, I'm just rocking an ugly stick right now with my browning reel. And this actually originated as my trout rod to Abu Garcia. Um, yeah, that's that. Um, if we move on to the back, I gotta have a cooler for water and other things. Um, I really like the back area. It's very easy to access from my seat, which I learned on its maiden voyage the other day. Um, can turn right around, get what I need to get. Um, for example, this little storage space right here is awesome. Give it a little turn, open it up, boom, storage. Uh, this little bag comes out like that. And then there's all the, um, that's all the way open, all the way to almost the front of the kayak. So I don't put much down there, but for the maiden voyage, I had a couple drinks in here. Um, but I assume you can probably use it for dry storage, phone, keys, whatever you need. Um, so I usually will just have my cooler thrown right there under that bungee or strapped in somehow. Uh, ready to rock. I would love to get a Kobe crate. Um, that's another purchase that I'm getting soon. It adds additional rod uh, holders and also you can um, tether it in so if you do flip it's not going to fall out and you're not going to lose all your stuff. And the top zip. It's really awesome. Um, the very back we have the rotor. Rudder. Awesome. Again, I don't really know what I'm talking about, but we're just going to roll with it. Um, flip this bad boy down, like so, and then you can control it to help you steer. And the handle is going to be right up here on your left. Boop, boop, just like that. So you also have two more handles on the back. And when I was taking this down to the lake for its maiden voyage, I had a buddy nearby and so he was going to help me carry it so he thought I'll take these two handles you take the front ended up not even needing them um, I was able to just kind of drag it myself and once I get the wheel system to help transport it when I'm alone I know it'll be even easier but as you can see it's super light very easy to get in my truck by myself and also drag where I need to get it to go um, so that's about it um, like I said, I'm learning, and if you're learning, awesome, we can learn together. Uh, feel free to drop any comments or questions. I'll try to answer them the best I can in the comments below. The last thing that I was very excited about, I don't know if you've noticed, so I'm local to Tennessee at the moment, but I have a twins hat on. So in just a few days, I'm headed up north. I'm gonna be loading this bad boy up in my truck and heading to Minnesota. Um, can't wait to get on some lakes up there, catch some fish up there. Um, so yeah, all my Minnesota people, send me those tips as well, because I need all the help I can get. For now, that's all I got. So be sure to like, subscribe, hop on over to my Instagram, if you don't already follow me, the underscore real underscore Ash, and I'll tag it below as well. Bye.